Good morning, guys. So I'm gonna groom this husky, just getting a bath in a D shed. Um, one of the first things, come here, boy. One of the first things that I noticed is this dog is severe. Hey, 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 you're okay, quit pulling. You're okay, quit pulling. This dog, hey, you're fine, quit pulling. Buddy, 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 buddy. Hey, hey, you're fine. This dog is severely underweight. Um, you may not be able to tell it, I mean, but look, I mean, it's, I can feel, buddy, you have got to turn. Why are you freaking out so bad? You're okay. I can feel all the ribs. Um, the hip bones are very prominent. This dog is severely underweight. Um, and, you know, I've had some people say, oh, that dog's not underweight, or oh, that dog looks fine. Guys, you're not here. You know, I, I know what to look for in a dog's weight, and for people to sit behind their keyboard and tell me, basically tell me, hey, you're stupid, you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you're okay, buddy, scoot up. Is just, no, is just very insulting to me. Um, you know, I, I can just go like this, just lightly touching, feel the ribs. The, the hips are very prominent. Um, you know, I can feel the entire spine of the dog. You guys will be able to tell a little more when, once this dog gets wet. You know, this is not too tight. You know, if he just stays normal with his head up, it won't, it wouldn't, you know. But we're just gonna do undercoat removal, get this guy done, and then I definitely will be having a talk with the owner just to let them know, hey, this dog is severely underweight. He needs to gain some weight. I mean, I can feel every bone down here and here. And I mean, I can feel his ribs all the way down here. So, and he, they have a lot of coat. So it hides it easily where they can't, you know, owners not might not be able to, to tell that. I need to make some soap real quick. But it's, you've got to feed your dogs. I mean, this dog is extremely thin. Yeah, a dog should be on the thinner side, but this is, I mean, you can see when he's breathing, you can see his ribs. Like you, right there, you can see his ribs, that you shouldn't be able to see that. Twenty ounces in five gallons of water. See if that's soapy enough. I believe this owner found me on YouTube. And I don't want peop the owners to think like I'm insulting them, like how dare you let your dog get this thin. Because sometimes, guys, people just don't know. They don't know how to care for their dogs. They don't know what to look for in an underweight dog. You know, sometimes it's because they have not been educated. It's not a lack of, it's not neglect. It's just a lack of them knowing what to look for. So I'm just going to get him wet all over. And you guys will really be able to see once he's all wet how thin he is. How come you're not talking to me yet? Oh yeah, this will be a good one. Because Huskies generally have quite a bit of undercoat. And again, guys, this it's not painful. Okay. 
I like to show people that because they're always, isn't that painful? No, it's not. You're okay, boy. I mean, you guys can see how thin he is now. I mean, he's, he's extremely thin. Hi. Uh, oh, I cannot stand people, guys. This client came in and was like, you, I have an appointment today at 9.30. And I'm like, well, no, you don't. I don't have you down. And she's always been a little difficult, but she's got two dogs. And, you know, I just told her that I'm requiring everyone to schedule online. And I had to repeat it. I had to repeat myself like six times. You have to schedule online. And she repeated the date that I said I had my first opening. She said, Okay, put us down. I said, I can't put you down. You've got to schedule online because I've had so many no-shows and cancellations that it's, you know, I told her it's taken a hit on my regular clients and it's taken a hit on um, my income. And she was like, okay, we'll be here on that day at that time. And I was just like, okay, but you need to schedule online. Like it's, so if she shows up and she's not marked down, I'm just, hey, I, I told you five times you have to schedule online. And I know that's not fair for some people that they need to, you know, go schedule online, but that's my policy. No exceptions from now on. Like if you, you know, I sent out a mass email to all of my clients telling them that, it's posted on Facebook, you know, and, you know, I, I know that may seem like I'm being a, you know what, but I have had so many no-shows and cancellations lately that I have to protect myself and my business. And if she can't, you know, she was like, well, you're the only groomer that can do so-and-so. And I was like, well, I'm sorry, but you have to schedule online. This guy has pretty, a lot of, a lot of hair. And on top of that, she came in when my door clearly states, stop, do not enter. Like, it just makes me mad when people, like, I don't want you as a client. If you can't read my sign and you want to sit there and argue about the way I want things scheduled, then I don't want you as a client. Go somewhere else. I'm sorry, but, you know, and, and I, I hate to say it. I hope the lady doesn't watch my channel, but she's always been a little difficult. I've done her dog on here before, and she, you know, I told everyone that she's just difficult. You okay, buddy?
Now feel good, boy? Hmm? You need to turn? Come on. Come down here. Come on. You're okay. Come on. Come down here. Come on. There you go. But now you guys can see how skinny he is. Um, just going to bathe him a little bit more. So I'm gonna do this a little bit with the soap and then I'm gonna put some conditioner in his coat and it will help remove all that extra. You know, I, you as an owner of a dog grooming shop, get to pick what clients you want. If you do not want difficult clients, you have the right to refuse service. You can tell them, hey, go somewhere else. I mean, obviously, hopefully you tell them a little nicer than that, but you know, if you don't want someone to be your client, then just, hey, I'd like it, you know, I can't do this dog. Whatever you need to tell them. You know, I get asked all the time, how do you deal with difficult clients? I ask them nicely, hey, you know, I need you to go to a different shop. You gotta do what you gotta do to, you know, Maintain your sanity. Come here, buddy. You're okay. See how much better that it works when you put conditioner in? It's like a night and day difference. You're okay. Thank you, thank you very much. dry off a little bit he got me soaking wet dry my glasses off dry the GoPro off guys I have an apron I just it's stiff I don't like it so I'm gonna turn him and just wet this side do the same thing Yes, guys, I go through a lot of conditioner. Do not skimp on your products. If a dog needs it, then you give it to them. I have a dog that's gonna be here in 15 minutes. So I need to get this guy done.
You're okay, buddy. Okay, so going to rinse to do his face with some tearless facial cleaner real quick. No, 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 please, no, no, no. Just wait a second and then I'll let you shake. Hang on, boy. I'm gonna shake. Get down. Just go back a little bit. Thank you. I needed a bath, a shower. All right, quickly going to just dry him the best I can with this towel just to get the excess moisture off. And then going to use the high velocity dryer. Not only does it dry him, but it will help um, push the excess hair that's left out of his coat. Put my ear protection on.
this Shoshin is almost gone. I've got two more in my car. Okay. So I'm gonna get him in the cage dryer and then when he's all dry, we'll get him all brushed out and his nails trimmed and bandana and doggy cologne. Easy. Always want to make sure that you clean your filters out. I've had a lot of people concerned for my breathing. Um, I just want to remind everyone, one, that grooming is work. It's not it's a lot more work than it looks on camera. And I wear a mask the entire time I groom a dog. And you can see when I breathe in, it sucks the mask in because, so I'm having to get a deeper breath to be able to suck air in through the mask. And that's why sometimes it seems like, you know, I'm out of breath. And I have to remind you guys also that the GoPro is literally, you know, two inches above my mouth. So every time y'all hear me breathing, the mic is literally right next to my mouth. Um, nothing is wrong with me. I don't have, I'm not sick. I don't have asthma. Um, it's not because I'm overweight. It's because I'm wearing a mask. Um, to protect my lungs, not only from the virus, but also from nail dust particle and hair and dander and all of that stuff, protecting myself against something called groomer's lung. And if you don't know what groomer's lung is, and you are a groomer or are considering becoming a groomer, then you really need to do your research and look up what groomer's lung is. Um, it's basically emphysema and COPD in groomers from breathing in all that stuff because it doesn't have a way to get out. So my dad had this at his house and Kelby is absolutely loving it. My niece was not using it anymore, so my dad gave it to us and now it's her little hideout she goes in there to play on her tablet and stuff you eating breakfast still is it good I, need any I don't have any more baby we'll have to wait till we get home you tell everybody hi hi is it lunchtime um in about an hour okay an hour so when he's dry we will get him finished guys i don't know if you'll be able to hear me because there's a dog in the cage dryer that is acting like it's being murdered so i'm just gonna brush this guy out brush him out you're okay You're so pretty. You're so pretty. Yes, you are. Just a second. These right here are is not fur. That is his hip bone sticking out. That's what that is right there. Just a minute, Kelby. Okay, I'm just going to brush out his tail. Those are his hip bones right there that are sticking up. Okay. Dog acts like it's being murdered. It's crazy, huh, buddy? This guy's name is Demon. Oh, my Lanta. Please stop. He's so 
crazy. That is the matted, super matted dog that was just posted that's making that noise. Crazy. Boy, you're okay. Good boy, you're okay. Okay, so his nails are really short. Um, easy. His nails are short, short. I'm not gonna be able to trim them any. Forgot to brush his belly. There's always some undercoat left on the belly because I can't always get to it. Just move their private area out of the way and get it done. Okay. So these right here, these sticking up, that's his hip bones. Hey buddy. You're so pretty. You're so pretty. I'm gonna get him a bandana. I'm gonna get him a yellow one and I think it'll show up good against his black and white. Huh, what do you think? You think so? And there, guys. His ears are clean. He looks good. Um, he's done, guys. That's it. That's how you bathe and get the undercoat out from a Siberian Husky. Huh, buddy? Thanks, guys, for watching. Don't forget to check out the links down below. Um, our, our wish lists are down there. The nonprofit's wish list is down there. The nonprofit donation list is down in there. Um, I mean their website is down there and then our Amazon storefront is down there for all the equipment I use and recommend and the bathing nozzle is down there also with the bathing system. So thanks guys for watching. I'll see you next time.